Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for another Oracle and Tarot card deck review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the Tea Leaf Fortune Cards by Ray Hepburn and illustrations by Shauna Alexander. And this includes 200 round cards and a 98 page guidebook. When I saw these, I instantly fell in love with them. I just saw these yesterday. It was the day before. The day before yesterday, I ordered them, and here they are. So I'll be unboxing these for the first time as I'm doing the video. First of all, this is a very sturdy box. Okay, and like I always say, if you watch my uh, reviews, you know that the packaging is important. And uh, it just opens up. Okay. And inside the box, we have a very lovely guidebook. And the guidebook is a glossy finish. Okay, nice thick book. It's not one of those flimsy little booklets you get in those flip top boxes that resemble a deck of playing cards. This is a well made book. And let's take a look inside. Now we have our table of contents. A brief history of tea and tea leaf reading, which should be very interesting to read. Okay, how tea got its name, tea travels the world, from healing brew to priceless social drink. So you get a, a nice history about tea and tea leaves. And then it talks about the development of the tea leaf fortune cards. Okay, and then we'll go on to traditional tea leaf reading methods, which are going to be very interesting to read. There's going to be the coming year method, the coming week method, the symbols. Wow, that's a nice, that's a nice amount of information without it being too wordy. And we have some illustrations here. Uh, what different months are signified within the tea leaf reading. Very, very, very involved. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I'm a little overwhelmed, but very intrigued and interested. I've been interested in tea leaf readings for a while, but I've never really had the time to actually go out by the deck, read the book, and now I'm finally making time for this. And then it tells you about divining your fortune using tea leaf fortune cards. Okay, and then it shows the spreads, okay, of the round cards, and cards are very unique, round and unique. And then a sample reading. So this is a really nice instructional book, and it, and it goes on and on about the different readings and samples of each, okay, what the, the tea leaf symbols and their meanings are. It, it takes you from angel, ant, apple, archway, arrow, axe. It's alphabetical, and it will do all 200 cards. Now, as you can see, there aren't going to be any pictures of the cards. Of course, there have to be 200 pictures and a page for, I'm sure, each of them. So instead, the author has decided to just alphabetize them with a brief paragraph, which to me is fine. You just take out the card, look at it while you're reading the meaning. Very, very nice. And then it tells about the author, uh, Ray Hepburn. And then inside this nice little box, we have a beautiful gold bag. Okay, very, very nice drawstring bag to keep your cards in. Now, I prefer to keep them in the box, but if I was going to take them somewhere, maybe I'd put them in the bag. And let's take a look at these. Okay, well, the box is a very nice box. We have the, the booklet on top. Let me just move this camera back. And then, of course, two sections for the cards. And these are decks of 100 cards apiece for a total of 200. And let me just take this wrapping off. Oh, I may need to get a pair of scissors here. Excuse me a moment. Okay. okay, so with the first roll of cards here, we have Angel, Spiritual Guidance, Protection from Harm, 
we have ant, work, achievement, success, and the card stock is a bit thin. Okay, so you want to be careful with these. On the back, it's just a basic design that says tea leaf. Okay, and the cards are small cards, not real small, but not really big. I would say they'd be like the size of the palm of your hand. Okay, and then we go through apple, and we have, it looks like, at first I thought this was a frog. It kind of looks like a frog. I don't know, and then there's an apple. Maybe that's just the branch of the tree. I'll have to look that up. Oh, oh, it's a snake. It's a snake with fangs. And it says, temptation will test you. The snake's being tempted by the apple. Okay, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening. Arrow, you are on the right path. Axe, bag, barrel, basket, bat, bear, danger, especially in money manners. Wow. Beetle, good fortune, bell, announcement. Bird flying, news is on the way. That makes sense. Bird perched, waiting for news, package or letter. Boat, money, property, coming through an inheritance, winning and windfall. Boot, bouquet, bow, bowl, box, bread, bridge, broken bridge, broken ring, parting of the ways in either romance or business. I can see how these symbols are connected to the messages. They really are directly linked. Broken wishbone, wish will not be granted. Broom, bull, do not back down from opposition. Butterfly, camel, candle, cane, carriage, carrot. And I love the artwork. It's so gentle. Kind of reminds me of watercolors in a way, like watercolor pictures. Cat, caterpillar, chain, chair. Chair filled, claw, clouds, temporary problems. Kind of reminds me of Lenormand. Club, cobweb, coins, cracked cup, crib, birth or conception of a child. That makes sense. Crown, honor and respect will come to you. That makes sense. Cup, you should accept valid criticism. Interesting. Dagger, fear, worries, intense situations. Dark man, dark woman, desk, diamond, dog, dogs, dog barking, <laughs> dog close up. <laughs> so glamorous, wow. <laughs> dog far away, <laughs> dolphin, door, dragon. Eagle, ear, egg, elephant, eye, fair man, fair woman, fan, feather, finger, fire, firecracker, excitement, I get it, <laughs> flag, not be tempted to lower your standard, flowers, happiness, flute, fly, Forest, four leaf clover, good fortune, that makes sense. Fox, shrewdness and resourcefulness. Again, like the clover and the fox, I'm, I'm feeling Lenormand uh, card meanings as well. Um, it's, it's kind of reminding me a lot of them. Frying pan, funnel, gavel, involvement with the law, that makes sense. Goldfish, increase in material wealth and spiritual growth. Gong, grapes, grasshopper, hammock, hand, handshake, harp, hat, haystack, heart, hills, horse, horseshoe, good luck, ink pot, problems to be resolved, and jug. 
Okay, so that's the first 100. And then let's take a look at the second stack of cards. And let me just open the plastic here. Careful not to damage the cards, pulling this plastic off. There we go. Okay, now we're on to K. <laughs> okay, kangaroo, key, kite, knot, unsuccessful plans, ladder, climbing towards success, leg, stepping into new experience, lightning, control your anger or you will be sorry, lily, lion, lobster, financial pinch, oh, the, the little claws, pinch, <laughs> man, mice, discord among friends or family. Again, Lenormand to me. Money path, moon, changes in your life. Again, moon, mountain, major challenges to overcome. Again, these, these symbols, these words are reminding me so much of Lenormand. Mountain road, mule, needle and thread, nest, older man, older woman, Owl, pale, parrot, some will gossip about all your secrets. Peacock, beware of great pride. Pig, beware of greed. Pin, new job, career. That's interesting. I wouldn't think that that would symbolize that. Oh, well. Pineapple, reconciliation. Yeah, that's a little bit. Mm, I, I wouldn't think of a pineapple as something to do with reconciliation, unless maybe it was giving a fruit basket to say I was sorry to someone or get well. <laughs> First, pay attention to your finances. That makes sense. Quill, rabbit, rainbow, ram, rat, someone working against you and behind your back. Yes. Ring, marriage will take place, either romantic or business, rooster, Rose, scales, scissors, seahorse, family matters, shark, take care, or there will be a loss of material wealth, shields, need to defend yourself, skull, spear, staff, star, stork, news of a birth or a new business opportunity, sun, happiness and well-being, Sunrise, table, tankard, target, teapot, teardrops, great personal sorrow, tent, temporary situation, throne, tiger, torch, tortoise, tower, solid foundation, success with effort, tree, affairs with your family, Again, I, I just keep on getting these Lenormand ideas in my head to, to associate these with the Lenormand cards. You know, the tree, the tower, the sun, <laughs> the rat, which would be like mice, <laughs> tulip, turkey, unicorn, V, valley, vase, vine, vulture, wall, wedge, Weeping Willow, Well, Whale, Wheel, Wind Chimes, Wishbone, a wish granted. And before we saw the broken wishbone, which means the wish wasn't going to be granted. And here we have a full wishbone, which the wish will be granted. Woman, Wreath, Sorrow over loss, Yoke, Feeling tied down and frustrated, Younger Man, Younger Woman, Love, and there's no descriptions on these. I guess the word speaks for itself. Love, marriage, happiness, success, wealth, looks like coins, career, looks like a desk. January, there's Jack Frost with the ice. February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, 
November, and December. So there you have it. There's like 200 cards. Now, some people feel that these cards are hard to shuffle. They're not so bad. I'm sure if they were larger, they'd be harder to shuffle. But they're not so big that they can't be shuffled. But if you're used to, you know, like a square card, of course, they're going to be different than shuffling a square card. But they're doable. What I would probably do is probably maybe shuffle them, you know, one stack at a time. Because to stack 200 cards together and to shuffle them would be quite, quite an endeavor here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, but let's see what this looks like. I don't have the smallest hands, but I don't have the largest hands. But let's see how this is to hold them in your hand all together. Wow, that's a handful. Okay. Uh, yeah, that that's really not happening. Maybe something other than shuffling, like swishing them around or laying them out. Like if you did something like this. Like, I don't have much room here to lay them out, but if I did this, okay. And then I just picked, you know, a card from here, a card from here, and a card from here. Say you do it like that instead of the shuffling, okay? Stork, rose, and quill. So news of a birth, romance is in the air, and get back to basics. Very interesting. Love, love, love the deck. This is great for someone who wants to learn how to read. Uh, tea leaf cards. Uh, the instruction book is absolutely fabulous. Okay, I love it. I can't wait to dig into this. Packaging is amazing. I would highly recommend this to anyone who's interested in doing tea leaf fortunes. There's enough spreads in here. Uh, there's enough instructions on how to actually read an actual teacup with the tea leaf, uh, you know, inside of the cup. So. It sparked my interest for a while, just never got around to purchasing uh, something like this. And when I saw it the other day, I had to have it. Lovely, lovely cards. Love it. Very unique. If you've enjoyed this uh, review, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back with more.